Hey guys, it's me, Jessica here, Corporate Recruiter, and today I want to do a follow-up video to a video I made, really one of my first videos, which was tips for interviewing for a forklift operator job. And so today I want to talk about a production operator job and a few quick tips for if you are interviewing for this type of job. So the number one thing I want to talk about is I, I would suggest for someone that's interviewing for a production operator job to have a good idea of what their availability might look like to work. And I say this because typically you're gonna be looking at some different type of shifts. Either there's gonna be a day shift and a night shift, you're generally working more hours, maybe you're working like 10 to 12 hours, or you're gonna have three different shifts. There's gonna be like a morning, a midday, or evening or night shift. And I would suggest knowing this right off the bat, the recruiter or the person that gives you that first interview will ask you about your availability. One tip is if you are available and flexible to work any of those shifts, definitely share that because that's always a good thing. Um, in the factories, they definitely look for that type of flexibility and sometimes they really need to fill for one specific shift um, at a time. So if you're flexible, that will work in your benefit. The other thing you want to keep in mind is you want to know if you're going to be available to work holidays and weekends as well. That could also be a nice plus factor for you um, because as you can imagine, those are tougher uh, shifts to fill. So if you're available weekends, holidays, that can really work in your favor as well. The next thing I want to talk about is, you know, you are going to be asked by the recruiter or whoever is that first person that does that phone interview with you, or maybe it's a virtual video interview with you. You're going to be asked about your work history. So uh, this is something that I've seen when interviewing forklift operators, production operators, different types of factory roles or general labor ro roles even. And with these jobs, some people will have resumes while others don't have resumes. And they're a lot of times they're trying to refer from their memory what their experience looked like. A lot of companies will need to verify dates of employment for you. And it gets really challenging if you do not have a resume put together. Put together a resume, just take the time to do that because it will make it extremely, extremely uh, easier for you as you're sharing about your work history and confirming those different dates of employment. So that way you're not like, you know, walking through your experience and really taking a bunch of time to think or, you know, giving the wrong information. Some companies will perform background checks before you're hired. So you definitely want to make sure you have your work experience and everything buttoned up. And again, the best way and easiest way where you can do that and also keep track of your work experience is by using a resume. Now, <laughs> the next thing you're definitely going to highlight as you're talking about your experience is to share any factory or warehouse related jobs. And if you don't have factory or warehouse experience already, it'll be really good to just share any experience you have in a fast paced environment. So if you have maybe retail experience, really highlight how you're able to work um, in a fast pace, because as you can imagine in factories and warehouses, um, a lot of time you're pushing a ton of product and you have specific goals that you have to meet. Uh, within different time frames. So definitely talk about your ability to work in a fast pace. And then the other thing I just want to talk about is make sure that you're telling them that you, you know, telling them a few reasons why you're interested in that specific company. Maybe you believe in the mission. Maybe you really like the products. Uh, maybe you've heard about the company from a friend. Have some type of reason. A lot of times the recruiter will ask why you're interested. So you just want to be ready to say something, uh, not just kind of the standard, well, I'm looking for a job. Really be able to relate and say why you're interested because a lot of times people want to hire people that are the most motivated and that can set you apart from the hundreds of other people that applied for that role. And now the last thing that I recommend that you do as you are preparing for your interview for um, a production operator job is to make sure you come ready with questions. This is something that stands out to the interviewer, but it also helps you. You should be asking and understanding 
what it's like in the warehouse or factory. You know, is it is it really hot there in the summer? Is it really cold? Do they happen to have AC? Like, what is the environment gonna look like for you? And then also ask questions about the interview process. The recruiter should share that with you, but I will be honest, not every recruiter shares it. Maybe there wasn't enough time to, you know, get into that. Be sure to ask just so that you can understand what the interview process would look like. And then the other thing is if you're able to and you have enough time, I would definitely ask about what type of onboarding or training is available, especially if, if this is gonna be your first time working in a factory or warehouse type of environment, it'll be good to just know what type of training they actually have available. And just kidding, one other last tip is to be ready to talk about safety. Now with large companies, uh, there's a lot of protocols around safety and just making sure the you know, the workers are safe, everyone in the factory or warehouse is safe. So if you've been a part of any safety programs or, you know, just basically be ready to talk about why safety is important, who you see as, you know, the person that's responsible for safety or persons that are responsible for safety and how you've been able to really push for safe environments, especially again, if you've had warehouse or factory experience be able to talk about how you have been able to keep your workspace safe uh, in your past experience. So anyway, really quick video, just wanted to highlight some of those things. Hope it is helpful. And if you are interviewing right now for a production operator role, I wish you all the best and um, good luck on your job interview. Bye. Oh, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.